Gee, man. Let's get it. Today I'm here with your boy. It's true. In the beginning, I turn this up today, y'all. We got You Don't Know What the South African Anthem Means. Trevor Noah. We're going to dash into that shit. I know the time is following on my socials. Let's get it. He was the coolest president ever. I love that guy. The most rock and roll president for the most rock and roll country in the world. Going there, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell us anymore. We know now, yeah. We're a country of first, and we don't we don't look at our blessings in this country. We love to complain. Oh, the corruption and and you know and the crime and all of this. We don't even look at when crime does go down. We don't celebrate. Ah, oh, but that's not enough. And you know, Zuma does something good, like actually firing people who don't work. Ah, oh, but that's not enough. You should fire them all. And you know, we just go and we get crazy about it. We complain. We don't look at the natural blessings that God has given us. Like you know, we got a bloodless revolution that we went through, which was amazing. I still to this day am proud of that. The fact that we don't get any natural disasters in this country, do we? No, no, no earthquakes, no tsunamis, no no typhoons or hurricanes or none of that. We get none of that. But I bet there's still some idiot out there going, "That's how behind we are. We don't even get natural disasters like the rest of the world, Africa." <laughs> They just want to find something to complain yeah, about. People like to do that, bro. That's social media for you, though. We're the coolest country in the world. Only country in the world that has 11 official languages. Mm. Only country. It's a testament to who we are. Only country that has multiple languages in their national anthem. Imagine that. No one else can claim that. Hmm? Which is amazing. Shows how diverse we are. Also means we're the only country in the world where 99% of the population doesn't know what the anthem means. But still. <laughs> Oh, you laugh, but it's true, we don't. We don't, like no one here, 99% of the population does not know what the anthem means. You see it when you watch people when they sing, when they try to sing it. You see it in their eyes, let me show you. Like you said, that was a guilty look. White guy here was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen people. But it's not, it's not easy, it's not easy, the language is not easy, you know. Do you know what it means, sir? Do you know what it means? God bless Africa, yes, that's right. And then the next part, what does that mean? <laughs> See, I love that. Young white guy's got no, he's like, no, I don't know actually. Eh? <laughs> Old guys are touchy. They're like, of course I know what it means. BJ, God, God bless Africa. Yeah. You're like, and the next part? Yeah, God bless Africa. <laughs> yeah, and the next part? Ah, bless it some more, buddy. He's <laughs> singing, but you don't know what it means. You know, it's simple in the beginning. Kosi Sigelele Africa. Ah, everyone knows that bit. It gets a bit harder, you know. Malupaganyizu Bonoduayo. It gets very difficult in the second verse for some. Morenabulokas Chabazayesu Kufedisedentuale Matsue Nyeho. Yeah, it gets quiet just like that. <laughs> people don't know what's going on. And yet you sing. I've seen white people sing the anthem. It's always fun to watch. You don't sing it, you just like mumble through it. Hoping no one will notice. You start off very confident though. Come out there, dun 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 dun. Go see Sigeleli, Africa. Go see Sigelela, Tina, Le Swap. <laughs> yeah, if you notice how the volume always goes up there, always. It's almost like someone standing behind the country with a huge volume knob. Ah! Always, especially at rugby games, I've noticed this. The volume always goes up at that point. Because before that, all these Afrikaans guys aren't singing along. They just act like they've dropped their bucky keys. Those crafty Dutchmen. <laughs> now watch them. Song will start, everyone will be there. Dun 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 dun. Go see see. Oh, come here. Ah, the game is just just here. Come here. Munyon punyon nis. Come here. Just have a drink. Oh, which one? See cha ba sha. Yes, you come on, Freddy. See cha ba sha. Come here, son. Song now. South Africa. South Africa. And they lose their minds. Say to blow fun on the young man. And fun on the like a Steve. Yeah, lose their minds. The whole beginning bit. No one knew what they were singing. 
I don't understand. And some people, some people have learned it phonetically, which I commend you on, but you still don't understand what the song is about. Like the rugby team, they were forced to learn it, and they have learned it, but they still don't know what it means. You'll see them when they sing, because Saru forced them. South African Rugby Union, they came out and they said, it is a disgrace <laughs> to see a national team that does not even know how to sing their national anthem. <laughs> if you want to play rugby for your country, you must learn the words. She said, no, but we don't, we don't speak, we don't speak. Hey, do you want to play rugby? <laughs> yes, then learn the words. <laughs> okay. And they learn them. And they show you they've learned them, you know? Because when the camera comes over them, if you look at Bafana Bafana, they're the most chilled out guys in the world when they sing the anthem. They do a million things at once. Shirts up there, they're all chilled out. They're there, camera coming in there. These guys are chilled. The rugby guys show you that they've learned. The camera will come on Bucky's and Victor and all of them. They'll be there. They're not holding each other. They're holding each other back. They're not holding But they still don't know what the song means. Which is very dangerous in my opinion. It really is. Because you're singing a song. It's not just a song, it's an anthem. It's a pledge, it's a promise. You put your hand on your heart. And you're promising something, but you don't know what that promise is. It's very dangerous. For all you know, the whole song could be about killing you. <laughs> you laugh, but you've seen how happy black people get when they sing. <laughs> how do you know while you mumbling, what we're actually singing is, when Mandela does, we're going to kill them. Oh, we're going to kill you. Oh, we're going to kill you. Yeah, you laugh. But if you listen carefully, there's a part in the song where they go, Yes, you can go on South Africa. But you don't know. Hey guys, thanks for watching. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm gonna search it with y'all. Dang, dang. What would you sing it? But that's I like have the music industry, bro. Nah, be writing about stuff. They don't know what's going on. But yeah, that's all I need to be. I know. Time to hit that subscribe button, the comment, man. Follow me on my socials. We out.